It's the seventh hospital in Toronto to report a COVID-19 outbreak. I'm here outside of Sunnybrook Hospital where an outbreak has been declared in the surgical unit. It's the third one at Sunnybrook since the pandemic began. We have a total of uh, five uh, cases that were identified, of which uh, four remain still in hospital. All of the patients are uh, completely asymptomatic um, and we've put in uh, all the necessary control measures. The hospital says three cases were initially identified in the trauma ward on Wednesday, which in turn triggered broader testing and turned up two more positive tests yesterday. We have um, a lot of uh, surveillance in place uh, where we uh, screen patients when they come into hospital. Uh, we do a lot of testing and um, through our surveillance mechanisms, we were able to identify the first case and we had two patients that were linked to that case that were positive. And so we proceeded to test all the patients on the unit. In this particular case, you know, it's a, it's a challenging population, uh, you know, mainly uh, patients that are uh, uh, 40 and younger and uh, they really have no symptoms whatsoever. The C5 unit where the outbreak occurred is currently closed to new patients. The hospital says there has been no transmission to other patient care areas or any health care workers. The hospital is operating as normal. Just yesterday, the Scarborough Health Network declared an outbreak as well. Six patients infected in one unit at its general hospital. University Health Network also confirmed an outbreak involving four patients at the Toronto Rehabilitation Institute. St. Michael's Hospital, St. Joseph's Health Centre, Toronto Western Hospital and the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health have also declared outbreaks among staff or patients. Sunnybrook Hospital says they have the best measures in place in terms of preventing the transmission of COVID-19 and they are doing the best they can given how challenging the second wave is proving to be. We don't have the luxury, if you will, of, of reducing our services and we have less capacity than we did. On top of that, we're about to go into a uh, full-blown respiratory season where we'll have other viruses circulating and that will pose additional challenges for us. An outbreak is declared in a healthcare setting when at least two cases of COVID-19 have been detected within 14 days. The hospital does say they are doing enhanced cleaning as well as screening and testing staff more frequently. The outbreak won't be declared over until a full incubation period occurs without further transmission. That could be anywhere between 1 to 14 days.